I'm Dan Ackerman and we are here taking a look at the Acer Aspire V5. This is a very run-of-the-mill, middle-of-the-road laptop, inoffensive, uh, looks perfectly fine from a few feet away. You get up close, you see it's a little bit more of a budget laptop, very plasticky. But what they managed to do is work in a Core i5 CPU, uh, Windows 8, and more importantly, a touchscreen all for a very reasonable price. This particular configuration is about $700. You can find it for a little bit more, a little less if you look around. I was actually more excited that going into the Black Friday holiday shopping season, I saw a version of this that's essentially the same, just with a lower end Core i3 CPU for $529. And that includes with the Windows 8 touchscreen. And that, I think, is a really great entry point to get into Windows 8 while you're using a touchscreen. And it shows that you can actually have a touchscreen on all but the least expensive of laptops once you get touch screens in a, in a reasonably decent machine down to about $500 or so. That just means pretty much anybody can have that. Uh, besides that, this is a pretty thin laptop for a 15-inch. They managed to work in uh, an optical drive as well, something you often see skipped in lower-end or, or really thin lower-end laptops. Uh, the keyboard is a decent size. I found the letter keys actually to be a little bit small, although I do like that they have the full uh, buttonless click pad style touchpad over here. That's something they usually only have in more expensive laptops. In cheaper ones, you usually get the old-style left and right mouse buttons. The edge-to-edge -edge glass over the 15-inch display is also a nice kind of high-end touch for a, for a mid-price laptop like this, but the native resolution is 1366 by 768, which is fine for an 11 or a 13-inch laptop, maybe even a 14. Once you get up to 15 inches, it kind of looks a little toy-like, and I think that uh, in 15 or above, you really uh, are right to expect a higher resolution these days. Other than that, uh, this is a pretty decent mid-size, mid-price entry point if you want to get into Windows 8 and that touchscreen experience, because Windows 8 without it really is not that good. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Acer Aspire V5.